Uh, you know that 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 comment that you got with the guy that was like, uh, you you like gave your thoughts on Guilty Gear Strap. I watched the video. It's yeah. a good video, by Thank the way. You. Um, and the person was like, "This video got me to stop playing Street Fighter Five, <laughs> uh, which I thought was really funny." Um, but I actually had a similar effect in which I felt like I might need to drop Kai in Exerd. Yeah. And I'll tell you, I'll tell you why. Um, I had a lot of fun with this drive beta. <laughs> yeah. Um, I had, I had like a really good time. Good. Um, I really actually was, was finding how much I had improved. Mm -hmm. Um, I didn't, I didn't get into heaven. Uh, they didn't let me in. Okay. Um, how far did you make it in the tower? The, uh, floor seven. Okay. Um, so it wasn't terrible. Mm -mm. Um, and I was, and I like, and I didn't play it for very long. And the thing that really struck me was that I did not have any trouble whatsoever. Sure. Like I had like a couple of matches that like, where I was like this person, like, actually I was like playing in a lobby with some friends and some like random, I, really high level Ram came up and showed me how I was actually supposed to play the character. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and it was really fun. And I was like, dang, I, I do really like this. And I'm not sure uh, what it is about if I'm like actually too much of a scribe, uh, a scrub to maybe like <laughs> truly understand uh, what's different between this or like, it's not like I can't tell the difference between strive and exerd. Yeah. Um, but that, uh, but that secret, like that, that beautiful thing, mm -hmm. um, I was like, because I'm playing a character that's essentially like not any different. He's sure. like in Exerd, yeah. like Kai in Exerd is like very different than that character in any other game because Exerd is all around him. Mm -hmm. Um, and he's even like, you know, balanced to, to exist within the, the universe of Exerd. Sure. But it did give me this sense that the kind of like game that I was like in the game that I'm like enjoying out of Kai is a game that I can find in a lot of different places. Yeah. And that maybe if I really want to like love Exerd, I need to pick up a character that shows me like the really like the stuff that people really love about like a really complicated fighting game. Absolutely. If that makes sense. Yeah, that, that makes total sense. First off, uh, before I get to that, I need to give Andres the shout out for, for hooking it up with the subs. Thank you so much, homie. Really appreciate it. <laughs> I just saw this gift. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, it's just going to keep on going. Hell yeah. <laughs> um, as, as far as what you're saying, like this is, this is actually why I make fun of people who pick Kai and Axel in, in Guilty Gear. Right. And it's, and the, the analogy I usually use is that if you're playing Guilty Gear and you pick these characters, you've essentially picked vanilla ice cream, right? You are here, mm -hmm. but you're not necessarily here to play the thing that everyone is playing. You're probably here to be with everyone who's playing this thing, right? But it's it's a different mm -hmm. choice, you know? Um, it's, it's, it is, you know, it is getting vanilla ice cream. There's nothing wrong with vanilla ice cream. Vanilla ice cream goes great with a lot of things, but if guilty gear is like the Ben and Jerry's of ice cream and you just got wild shit all over the place, you roll up to, to Ben and Jerry's and order vanilla ice cream. And that sends a very strong message, right? <laughs> Again, yeah, Andres, it's not nothing. Is, vanilla is a very complex and beautiful flavor. You can do a lot with it. It's super cool. Um, but you're not trying to order that at Ben and Jerry's. Or if you are, and it's just vanilla, you ain't got nothing on top, then uh, that, is, that is, it is a very strong statement about who you are and why you're there, right? <laughs> um, yeah, definitely. And then Axel and is think... like if you order melted vanilla ice cream. So, you know, that's <laughs> even... <laughs> So how is Jacko going for you? I do want to know more about uh, your, your Strive session, but tell me more about Jacko. Yeah, um, well, I was like... Well, one of the characters that I actually, like, when I first, when I was, like, coming to Guilty Gear Exerd as somebody who was, like, way, way worse mm -hmm. at fighting games, who was barely scratching the surface and the characters that I was, like, this character is so cool, and then I was, like, I don't understand shit about this game. I am <laughs> giving up. Yeah. Uh, I can't do, I, I can't do anything. Well, you know, like, this was trying to, like, match with 
play excerpt by ma- matching with randos online, which mm-hmm. is definitely not an effective way to play it. No. Um, but I really liked, I, I thought Jacko looked really cool. Yeah. Um, and I like saw that I was like looking at some videos or something and it was like, Oh, like Jacko's like really galaxy brain, but she's also ver- like her execution is simple, but her play style is galaxy brain. Mm-hmm. Um, and and those were like some good some kind of keywords for me because I guess like one of the things that I've kind of struggled with and like my my understanding of how to like what people um really like about like like Guilty Gear and like anime fighting games with like really complicated like set play and system design. Yeah. Is that I tend to get lost and this is why I actually ended up dropping Elfelt was yeah. like she's really cool. I love playing neutral such as it is with Elfo. <laughs> and, but like when I get into like shotgun stance pressure and stuff like that, um, I'm like, oh, I don't, I don't love this. Mm-hmm. Like I can, I can understand why somebody might love it. And like, I actually played against a, somebody who's probably way better Elfo than I ever was okay. uh, with my Jacko. Yeah. Um, and I was like, oh, you're like doing the thing. That's what Elf felt supposed to do. Yeah, she's not supposed to just run around and like press five D or, or <laughs> just <laughs> try and play this like mid screen neutral game. Like she's supposed to get people in the corner and do this like dirty shotgun yeah. stuff out on them. Um. Whereas with Jacko, it's like she's got a bunch of like very simple and easy to use tools that were like as soon as like I just like played I played in the beginner uh, session. Um, mm-hmm. against a bunch of of other people, uh, with my like day zero Jacko. Yeah, and I was like, oh, I can like pick up all her tools. Like I know kind of what to do with her. They're like a little weird, but I played enough fighting games that I immediately know what they all are. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you got you, um, you got your dragon punch. You got your dive kick. You got your command grab. Like you yeah, got, got you got, got some angle. pretty you pretty pretty understandable tools. And then you have all the bases stuff, right? Right. And then you have like some like, and then you have like this bizarre win condition mm-hmm. that you can just pull out. Um, and I was actually kind of like, it was like, oh, this is really cool. I'm like actually making people play this game really differently because mm-hmm. they really don't want those houses out there. Like yeah. even people who don't have a lot of Jacko matchup knowledge, like immediately know that like if you let her get those houses out, then it's really bad news. Mm -hmm. And it was actually like really cool to see like how differently I got to play the game because I was like, Oh, you're paying attention to my houses, but you're not paying attention to me or you're paying attention to me, but not the houses. Um, Like it was actually, I was like, Oh, this is like the easy. (laughs) It's like this super like Arxis's like galaxy brain idea of what a simplified character should be. Yeah. Um, And and I was getting maybe a little bit of access to like the kind of like weird and dirty stuff that people get out of Guilty Gear without having to actually do some of the, 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 I guess I'm like not, it's not like necessarily that the execution was like the thing that was like, I don't want to ever do this sort of execution. It was like, I wasn't, Elfeld's execution was not like making a thing that felt to me like something I personally thought I was cool for doing. Yeah. Yeah, that absolutely. Sense. And some of that is because Elfelt players are just objectively not cool. But some, <laughs> of, <laughs> some of that is because uh, just winning is not cool to most people, right? Like, mm-hmm. especially mm-hmm. when they're playing fighting games, it's not just about it's not just about whether you're winning or not. It's, it's about how you're winning, right? It's about whether you connect to the fantasy that the character is presenting. In whatever way. Yeah. Right. So for, for Kai, I think what you correctly figured out is that the satisfaction of pre- playing Kai is the, the basic satisfaction of all fighting games. I pressed a mm-hmm. button. It made certain boxes show up. The boxes that I put out it were, were positioned and timed more effectively than the boxes you put out. I get to feel smart. Right. And that's something that you get in Street Fighter. That's something you get in Sam Show. That's something you get in Guilty Gear. It's something you get in everything, right? Um, with Elfelt, you have that. Plus, you have, like, the aesthetic, right? You have, you're this wacky Guns and Roses bride. Uh, you get to attack with bouquets and guns and shit. And when you do, 
um, you get to do some pretty miserable stuff, right? Like shotgun loops or like, uh, uh, you know, yeah. the sniper rifle, the, the pine berry stuff. And if that feels like something that you vibe with, then great. But if you don't, if you're kind of whatever on it, right? Like if it, if it doesn't grab you in your heart, if you don't feel like, oh, I want to do this to people, then yeah, that's not the character for you, right? I, I don't play Chip because he's my most successful competitive character or he's, he's not optimal for me in terms of winning. I play Chip because I think ninjas are fucking tight. I grew up with, with Ninja Turtles and Power Rangers and, and fucking ninjas and G.I. Joe, ninjas everywhere. Three ninjas, three ninjas kick back. Like the world was just kind of obsessed. I won't say the world. Hollywood was obsessed with ninjas for it a while. It was time for ninjas yeah. when we were kids. Yeah. For sure. Um, and ninjas are still cool and they're still all over the place. Right. But not, but like there was like my, my most impressionable years as a child were definitely peak ninja. <laughs> right. Um, right. Yeah. So, so that's interesting. And then Jacko, obviously like part of, of the appeal that she gives is that uh, she forces you to play her. Game, right? That was really loud. I'm sorry about that. Um <laughs> Go away, pa- Pablo. I heard it DJ over there. Um, Jacko forces you to play a different game. Everyone in Guilty Gear forces you to play a different game, but Jacko's is very explicit, right? She's like, don't know if you've heard of MOBAs. They seem pretty cool with the kids. Let's try and put that motherfucking Guilty Gear and see how it goes, right? I would suspect that maybe part of the joy that you got from playing Jacko was not... Oh, it wasn't just, oh, the, the, the simplified inputs. Cause she does have easier inputs and easier access to powerful stuff. Right. Like mm-hmm. that probably made it easier to access her shit, but like, I'm not surprised that you as a game developer get joy out of making <laughs> someone else play a game that you want them to play. Exactly. No, like, and it was like, cause like the simplified Jocko stuff at, at, at this point is like, well, it's whatever. Like yeah. I could do. Like I was already doing that stuff with. Yeah, Kai. yeah, yeah. Like it's like no problem. Yeah. Um, like, like I said this before, but like my my generous analogy for Kai is like Kai is like if you want to go into Exert and you want to play Dark Souls, mm-hmm. like you want to play you want to play or like you want to play the main character of an action game. Yeah. Like you want all of these weird. You want to like experience all these weird bosses. Like you want to be designed like from the ground up with all of the tools to beat all of the bosses right. just like you would in a single player video game yeah. and they are the ones who will like present the challenge to you <laughs> and you are the one who will use like the very basic tools to navigate that challenge ah um is that is that protagonist like, privilege <laughs> right it's that protagonist clip like I is the, like he's one of the main characters and he's like you know like soul is like the the rowdy like the rowdy anti-hero right but kai is like this straight laced one like mm-hmm. so that's why he's more like even more of the protagonist yeah you know? yeah um so that's like a very congruent design but like that's not the sort of person who i want to be mm-hmm. <laughs> or who i really kind of like feel like who i'd want to play if i was playing if i had the kind of like freedom to pick right yeah um and he was, and he, it, it's been fun to play as him because it lets me like participate in like, in in Guilty Gear, and mm-hmm. it definitely like, I'm definitely much better with Kai. Yeah. Like I felt like my game improved even from like Elfel, and I was doing like more effective stuff because like, I didn't want to put pr- somebody in the corner and like trick them with, with shotgun pressure. I wanted to like throw grenades in neutral and and, and do that and like. Uh, and press 5D a lot. Yeah. Um, and do weird cheeky sniper tricks. Mm-hmm. Um, I was like trying to hit people with like the sniper rifle without even using the YRC stuff. <laughs> uh, I was like, can I actually c- catch somebody who's, can I like move the cursor to c- catch somebody before right. they, they catch up with me? Um, like, uh, so anyways, I'm not sure if I'm really going to stick with Jacko. Like I actually mm-hmm. really want to like spend some time with, some of the characters that i really liked um i even want to give biken a try oh yeah is it just because like everyone really likes biken but i'm like okay what if i could could i love biken mm-hmm. with my whole art um uh i want to and i'm gonna probably check out dizzy as well who was like an early character that i picked up before i like oh, started yeah. playing the game yeah like 
which I think like I, I actually feel like Dizzy might like feel a lot better to me now because I'm like, oh, I do like the strike throw game with Kai. Mm-hmm. It would be cool if I did that strike throw game and I also had two air dashes. Yeah. And like a lot of homies. Yeah. A lot, um, lot, lot of homies. Not as many homies as Jacko, but still plenty of homies. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, I look forward to hearing more about your continued exploration, and I'm sure we can dig deeper into Strive. But we told the people we we're going to play a video game today, so a video oh, game yeah, we shall play. Too bad. Uh, the, the, uh, I guess the, the path thus far has been that the last couple months we've been kind of working our way through various esoteric and and historical fighting games of all kinds of natures. But some of what we've been doing has been working towards like, if, if Guilty Gear is, uh, and I think there's a, this is a reasonable claim to me to be made. If Guilty Gear is the 2D fighting game that loves 2D fighting games the most, right? Uh, it guilty gear was built on the backs of of other games right and so we had been kind of winding our way towards these various uh various different kinds of games and obviously one of the games that we came or one of the series of games that we came to was vampire savior that was the last successful one we played because we tried to do the strive beta last week and it didn't work and vampire savior was kind of capcom's launching point for jumping into uh, street like fighting games that fell out of the Street Fighter mold and were more more expressive when it came to character power, um, and they they kind of took that capability and applied it full force with the Marvel license and, and eventually building up to Marvel versus Capcom. Right, Raul man, thank you so much for the gift set. So uh, today, oh thank you, Raul. <laughs> now you can dab on him. Uh, <laughs> Today, we're going to go ahead and play... We're going to start with X-Men Children of the Atom. We, I've got three games lined up, so we can kind of play through them pretty quickly. Uh, we got X-Men yeah. Children of the Atom, Marvel Super Heroes, and if we can get to it, we'll do X-Men vs. Street Fighter. But let's start with X-Men Coda. Sound good? Yeah, let's do it. All right. I'm challenging you to a game. Oh, X-Men vs. Street Fighter was the first 2v2 game that Capcom did. Yeah. Oh, it was fucking sick when it came out. All right, I got my emulation screen up. Let me know, uh, stream, let me know if the audio on the game itself is okay. We're hopping right in here. We got these beautiful characters. Hello. You got Spiral, Wolvie and Cyclops. I'm gonna be a Spiral. This Storm. Is a, this is still an incredible character design. Yeah. All right, I ended up on Psylog. If you pick automatic, it lets you block automatically. Whoa. All right, I will turn up the fight Kate audio just a little bit. This shit like explodes. All right. Oh, let's go to the men. Oh. Whoa. All right, there we go. <laughs> so right off the bat, vertical scrolling stage, looking like the Relento stage a little bit, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a pretty good stage. Yeah. Whoa. Also, we got we got much bigger dashes. And we got super jump height. Look at that. Whoa. Woo. Whoa. Now that's some, that's some jump height there. Yeah. Holy crap. What the hell? Big ass <laughs> jump height with, with uh, mobility, right? Like you can move yourself left and right. You have some DI. Oh, we also have an air throw. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm just, I laid on the ground well, for like that. 10 whole seconds there. This game oh uses God. mostly All chain right. combos, a la Dark Stalkers. Yeah, what did this hey, what come out? Uh, I think this came like out. A... I think we checked it last time. It came out pretty close to Dark Stalkers. Oh my God! But what's funny to me is is like you can feel the movement while it's bigger. Uh, it's definitely slower paced. Yeah. Right. It's like you're you're moving but like you actually can't you kind of can't get to your to each other very fast and because the screen is so big and because you can be you can do these huge floaty jumps you can kind of like really avoid each other yeah. whoa i can understand why they put it in and then i can understand why they never did it again <laughs> well i mean this is this is true for the super jump height is in all the uh marvel oh. games is it that high though? Uh, uh yes. <laughs> Holy crap! It's just it feels Maybe smaller because why. you have teams of six. Right? Yeah. Oh. 
Alright, and supers in this game are done with usually, it's like a basic quarter circle forward motion or something like that. You know, half the quarter circle back, DP, whatever. And two attack buttons. Of, or it's like, you do like light punch and medium punch or something. Maybe it's three? Something like that. And it's, it's funny, Psylocke is weird to me as a character because I've only ever picked her as an assist in Marvel 2. So I know like two of her moves because she's not that great on point uh, for Marvel 2. Oh. 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 Oh, I'm dizzy. Oh, shit. Hey. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> also, damn, the homegirl Betsy got some quads on her. Her. her I, I don't know if they ever drew her quite this thick. Maybe. Because they, like, if I remember, they actually, like, changed her idol for, for one of these games. Like they added more frames. Yeah. All right. Let's... Well, so here, here's the interesting thing. Like, uh, wow, the the screen, the, the 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 rematch screen, helpfully informing me that my maximum combo was two in that last round. <laughs> um, this is, I think, whenever these characters show up after X Men: Children of the Atom in a in a Marvel game. They actually have fewer frames of animation. I think they did like really? they changed around some of Sentinel stuff, but I think they mostly took stuff out. Oh, we got we got huh. OTG hits in here. Also, uh, and this is this is like I I have barely played this game. So one one thing that stands out to me is that the damage levels are pretty high. Yeah, they are. Like they don't necessarily look like they're gonna be, but they actually. Like we're hitting shitty combos, right? Whoa! Yeah, like that, that was, was a four huge. hit combo. So I did, I did a I did like a four hit combo, and then I think I think the last hit uncomboed, but that that was like thirty percent off, like a one two three into a fireball. Oh. <laughs> Typhoon. Oh shit! <laughs> Good lord! That's right, popping off, Cy Cylon. <laughs> How considerate of you to stand still while I defeat you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Our oh, Sentinel cool. is so cool in this game. Just, just take a second to like figure out his buttons real quick. I want to see all his shit. Oh whoa! So yeah. That's just the. A... And it's like a medium punch. Yeah, that's his medium punch. Yeah. And I think I think those projectile attacks are jump cancelable too. Like in startup. Well, seriously? Yeah, like like press I think a standing medium punch and then just jump. Um wait, let me try standing. Try okay, uh, try jumping with three kicks. Uh wait, jumping with three kicks? Yeah. Whoa, okay, what? Yeah, yeah, see that? that you jump canceled the standing medium. Wait, what? Why do the three kicks do anything? Uh, so three punches will dash in a in a Marvel game, and three kicks will jump, or super jump rather. Whoa! Okay, I never knew that. Yep. Damn, yeah, they had macro dashes <laughs> all the way back. Exactly, then. And, and that's how that's how Wild. you wave dash in these games. Let's, like that. You do, you do three buttons to dash and then down to cancel and then just do that over and over. Oh, well, that was a <laughs> yeah, really Silock fast face time. Palm. Oh. oh my God, that was sick. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Resistance is futile, mutant. Damn, like that. <laughs> All right. I love this lightning fast rematching. We're gonna, let's see, who do I want? We're gonna play Omega Red, cause he's cool as fuck. 
And yeah, being able to, to go from the character select screen to just see this char the, the two characters like hop into action is pretty sick too. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty. I, I like that they that they were like really trying to make it look comic booky. Yeah. Oh, oh. Wait, what I hit you with? Oh, there we go. Oh, all right. So that goes up, and oh, that's wow. How many? He's got. Yeah, he's got hella directions on this grab. There we go. No. Oh. So I can I can hit you. Oh my god! I can hit you with the grab, and then I can like steal health, and then I think if there's time left, I can throw you somewhere. Oh. What is this weird aura that? Uh, that's I think that's letting you know that you have enough meat or that you got another meter and you can do a super. In case you don't want to check the the uh, the the UI element. Oh. I'll make a short. <laughs> oh fuck. Ah! He's got the guile. So oh my god, we got to time over. This this <laughs> plot kind of short. Yeah, these these rounds are like real fast. Oh my god. Oh. oh. I wonder I wonder if I can like I I'm, I'm gonna try super jump over you and then and then see if I can get like a, a weird a dumbass left right. <laughs> oh Oh no! Oh shit! Just drive <laughs> oh that fucker into the that's ground. Oh my god, a lot of damage. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and one of the things that definitely ca carried over from like their Dark Star Stalkers work was just seeing like a lot of unique movement, right? So, yeah. so Sentinel actually has flight in this game. If you do core circle back in two punches, I think it is. Maybe three punches. So see that? Oh yeah, it's three. Yeah. Oh man, holy and, crap. And he, he gets this in Marvel 2 and it, it, it makes him really good. But in this game, he can actually take a hit and stay in flight mode. He can even block. Oh my God. Yeah, I'm still in it. Yeah. I keep on getting hit and yet I'm still in it. Wild. Oh shit. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> what do you I'm do? Gonna you, I'm gonna put you in a bubble. Damn, so programming ensures victory. <laughs> and go back to my home planet. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we'll try uh who we like. We'll try we'll try Silver Samurai. Shout out to when when Marvel went weeb, or when, I guess it's when Wolverine went weeb, really. Wow, he's like he was vibing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they just made Bishamon. Yep. <laughs> must have been like, oh. we know how to make a samurai guy. Yeah. I, I love the blade trails that he has in this. Like, it, it feels like they were trying to, tr again, they were trying to get, make it look more like a comic book, right? Right, yeah, definitely. Like, you see that, like, it, it's really funny how, um, uh, oh, like, both JoJo's Bizarre Adventure and, uh, and American Comics, like, get adapted in really comic booky ways mm -hmm. and it's funny that like jojo's bizarre adventure i think is like the only like manga that gets that sort of treatment but it's very consistent um 
I mean, yeah, because because the aesthetic is just it's it's an integral part of how people think of it, right? It's the same thing like Dragon Ball, right? I don't think Dragon Ball has been right. significantly reinterpreted because that shit just looks anime as hell, right? Right, exactly. Like there's there's just like a specific. Whoa, my god! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh shit. No! <laughs> even even like the, the feel on some of... Uh, oh my god, the footsie's too good. <laughs> like, the, the feel on some of Silver Samurai's attacks just feels... it it It's timed different. Like, they tried to sell him like a samurai character. Yeah, yeah. Alright. People need to stop sending fucking challenges in. It just, <laughs> You're it, already in a game. Seriously, fight Cade, get it together. All right, we'll do. Uh, <laughs> we'll do Wolvie. Let's get a Savage Land. I remember seeing some like there's a pretty uh, there's some article on this recently. Mm -hmm. I think like there's. Um, and I remember finding it like really fun that they were like, they were trying to do stuff that they thought would be cool, yeah. even if, even if Marvel uh, was it was not into it. Yeah. Um, and they were looking for characters that were like interesting to them. Um, oh, can't believe that hit. Oh. Oh. <laughs> The air grab. And actually, a good example of that, I, I, Mappuccio is kind of calling it out in chat, so shout out to him. Um, Marvel characters normally don't name their moves, right? Like, right, they never Cy would. Cyclops has the ability to, to project energy from his eyes, right? He has eye beams. He might call them an optic blast, but in the comics or any, or you know, the movies or whatever, it's not like he says optic blast, right? Right. Absolutely and, not. And, and, and like, most uh, most American-made fighting games have a tricky relationship with the odd, with VO around that shit because Americans don't name their attacks. In part because if you hear someone say... What? Oh, come on. <laughs> give, give me... Give me... Tornado Claw. Tornado Claw. You see, you hear Tornado Claw once, that's pretty cool. In a fighting game, you're gonna hear Tornado Claw, Tornado Claw, <laughs> yeah, you're Tornado gonna Claw. Yeah, you hear it a lot. What the fuck is the it's input for like... Berserker? Oh, there's Berserker Barrage is only a, a super? Wow. Berserker Barrage, oh my God. <laughs> oh, he said it in a very, uh, very Wolverine sounding voice. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you know, there is, uh, uh, a video Tim Rogers did, I mm -hmm. think it was a review of Xenoblade Chronicles. That was the game. Yeah. Uh, for the Switch. And he was talking about the dub. And he talked specifically about how, like, in that, people are, it's it's kind of, like, I think it's like an action-y RPG. I, I don't really know. But, um, but people say the moves of what they're doing, or, like, they have, like, they have like barks for like every move. Yeah. And he was like, you know, in like in Japanese, that sounds cool. Like it does. there's like a lot more like the the way even like Japanese like the oh my god, <laughs> uh, that was a lot of lasers. Big um, laser. <clears throat> like there's a kind of like cadence and repetition that's like more natural that 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 seems a lot more natural. Yeah. Uh, in in the Japanese well, language. And, and so some, like, of it, so, well, some of it too, not to get too like, like uh, language nerd on us real quick, but Irene and I were actually talking about the, this the other day. Oh yeah. Like in Japanese, when you give something a name, it, it, you can have it be a compound of a bunch of kanji, right? And the idea mm. is that the kanji that you pick for that generally reflects somehow what you're saying, right? So Hadouken is wave motion fist, right? But you read those characters differently when they're in a compound, so it feels like you're actually giving the move a name and not just saying three words, right? 
Right, yeah. If Ryu says wave motion fist every time he throws a Hadouken, that shit is dumb as hell. I wonder if there's I wonder if that's a reference actually to the uh uh the Yamato canon, the wave motion canon and sure. uh, that classic sci fi thing. That'd yeah. be cute. Um but yeah, there's like right, exactly. It just sounds a lot different. Like whereas I feel like American like especially like American like nerd culture self consciousness yeah. is like so about being like that would just, like, not read as cool. So. Yeah, I mean, Scorpion, in his iconic move, yells, Get over here! Right? Not Right, he's, like, giving a command, almost. Exactly. Sub-Zero doesn't say shit. Oh, there's a cat in the background of the stage. Come back. <laughs> Aw, it went away. Um, yeah, the other thing that we missed commenting on real quick is that stage that we played on last, the Danger Room, is cool as hell. Because there are elements. Oh yeah, I loved the. There, there are elements the, of the danger room on. where it'll like when you jump, it'll it'll have spikes on the floor, and they can't they can't hit you, right? But it's just like oh, it it makes it look like you just avoided a trap. Yeah. Oh, that's really cool. Oh my gosh. Optic blast. Hey. <laughs> Web swing. But yeah, so the the move callouts in this stuff. Um, and just the way that they elevate, like, the way that oh, this game God. kind of uh, imprinted in my mind that, oh, uh, fight it, like, Marvel characters have fighting styles. Marvel characters have moves, yeah. and they can say the moves' names is is a big part of what got me attached to these characters. And mm. that's not something that they, they carry into, like, MCU shit at all. Right. right, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's not the same sort of, I mean, it's just, like, it's funny because it's like, well, this is like, it was, Marvel stuff was really big back when this was popular. Yeah. And it had like this very long pause. And in that pause, it became an incredibly different thing. Yeah. Like, it's whole, like the whole, oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I like how in that wind pose, Cyclops flicks off his visor to reveal the sunglasses <laughs> under his sunglasses. <laughs> under his sunglasses. <laughs> Sorry. That's right. Web ball. Web swing. <laughs> Red ball. Um, Red ball. Yeah, it's like. Also, shout outs to the good old day, the halcyon days of the 90s when uh, the X Men were, in fact, the primary Marvel IP. Oh my. I can't believe you just recovered and kicked me in the face on the way down. It was like. It's, and actually, that's the other thing that's really funny. It's like the only reason why. Um, it's because of that weird, like deal with sony or whatever yeah like is the only reason why marvel comic universe is like a thing yeah and and nobody's we've never seen the the x-men it's like it's so funny that they're like a competition that they're competing with their, themselves yep. over their own franchise essentially. well and and in that, oh in that case it wasn't even much of a competition for like most of the time right it's just the x-men right. getting fucked and yeah. like iron man <laughs> really? I don't like the only when I think of Iron Man, I think of Marvel Iron Man, right? I think of uh, Smart Bomb, Proton Cannon, <laughs> Repulsor Beam, right? Like shit that I'm never gonna hear. I'm never gonna hear Robert Downey Jr. say Smart Bomb. <laughs> oh man, that would be tight, though. Right? <laughs> Much like less that. like huh 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 huh. Right, that that for me is the most iconic shit because that's the sound of a fucking. Do you want to learn a fucking oh. infinite? Damn, what if Robert Downey Jr. was like, "Hey, do you want to learn an infinite?" <laughs> <laughs> that's like a shout out. That they're like, "Oh, we're always putting references in our movies." Yeah, right. Uh, they they really should. It's it's gonna be look it's gonna be a, like a, a Spider Man movie right where uh, Peter Parker is like trying to find himself and he walks by a Marvel two cabinet and then Robert Downey Jr. <laughs> just walks in and he's like hey kid sit down you want to learn how to do a motherfucking infinite 
<laughs> and then he just fights, he does the infinite, and he... <laughs> oh my god, I love that. I love his intro. Yeah. As tight as hell. Nice beam. Actually, go ahead and block real quick. Oh, stand block, please. There we go. Yeah. So they gave they gave Iceman a very particular power, and that's that he doesn't take chip damage from energy specials. Oh, weird. Yeah. That's just unique to him, huh? Yeah. Ice beam. Yeah, and the fact that Ice that Iceman sounds like a fucking herb while yelling out his attacks made me never want to pick him ever. Yeah, he sounds like a real nerd. Uh, wow, that that ability did come in handy for blocking your, right? your move though. Um, Iceman does get some cool like deformation stuff though, right? Because he's, he's he's just turning. Yeah. Like, he is ice. He's turning shit into ice. Ice beam. <laughs> He does. Like just, just throw out a super real quick. Though. I want to see. Well, or do it next round, maybe. Wait, how does? Uh, wait, how do you do supers again? It's like I... core circle forward and two punches, or three. I think three punches oh, right. in this game. Ar Arctic attack. <laughs> Ice beam. Uh, I want to do an Arctic attack. <laughs> Come Magic on. missile. Lightning Let me bolt. Just do an Arctic attack, Pat. <laughs> oh. There we go. That was really cool. It looks like we were we were both like. It looks it looked trying to be like a yeah. promo image for the. Yeah, and it does look like Ice Man got some some hot girls on a yacht in the background though. I have to assume this is his his stage, and this is before he came out. So maybe maybe he's just like he's just like really really yeah, trying to like, pass. Right. He's these are our beard ice ladies. Um, <laughs> oh my god. What Iceman's like, yo, yo, Scott, you want to come hang out on the yacht with a bunch of hot girls? Promise, <laughs> it's just going to be us and the hot girls, bro. <laughs> yo, I bet, oh, you, you no. know what the girls would like? The girls would love to watch us, like, get in these spandex suits and just beat the <laughs> shit out of each other. <laughs> Poor Iceman. <laughs> no. Oh my god. Wow, I'm like really, I'm I'm still gonna. <laughs> I mean, Scott Summers is like the fucking quarterback of the X Men, and the, the X Men is an academic environment, right? Like, yeah, he's also like, wow, look at this Iceman's face in that in that <laughs> pose was <laughs> just just weird. I thought like, yeah, Iceman is supposed to be cool, like. I thought hey. that was the bet. <laughs> um, okay, I'm gonna try. Oh, I'll be. Omega I'll be Red. Omega Red. I have. I have no idea who Omega Red is. Like he's in. I only know him from these games. Yeah. I couldn't tell you who he is in the comic books. I I, I vaguely remember him as Russian and a villain. He's, his thing is he's got coils that he uses to, like, drain energy, and he's, like, super strong and shit. Yeah, he looks very, like... He must have been a recent design at the time. He just looks very, like, Rob Liefeld, like... Uh... Oh, man. I'm, I'm loving the hair. Oh, yeah, it's got, like, really good... <laughs> I managed to evade your attack by... Oh, oh, <laughs> whoa. Oh, yeah, he's, okay, he's definitely, because he looks, like, it's so clear, like, you just, like, look at the him compared to the other design. Yep. Like. Oh. Gene Splice, Gene <laughs> Splice, Optic Blast. Oh, my God, I, <gasps> oh, I thought he said Gene. I thought he said Jesus Christ. <laughs> yep, that's that's how most people hear it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> that's right. Flex on him, Omega Red. Yeah, that's a real. Like, I love it when somebody 
some of these wind posts is just them vibrating yep. as, as hard as I mean, they possible. I mean, Cyclops can. has that more than most. Like, his wind pose, yeah, he looks like he's just trying to take a shit. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm going to pick Sentinel real quick just because this character is real cool. We'll play one, one or two more games, then we'll move on to Marvel Super Heroes. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, so another neat thing about this game is Magneto is the boss, and he's super sick. But the I think it's a secret, like, unlockable boss. I don't know exactly how it works. Is Akuma. Oh. So Akuma just rolls so up in this game. and fucks people up. Yeah. Right. So even, so they were, like, really kind of planting the seeds from the beginning almost. Yeah, I would say so. Oh, my God. Ooh. Oh. All right. I'm still in flight mode. This is this is this is wild. Yeah, like that. Like you can get me out of flight mode. I I was not even sure how to deactivate it. Oh. Yeah. This is. Omega Strike. All right, peace out, Tasty John. Oh. Oh. All right, there we go. Oh my God. Whoa. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Flight mode is really, I don't know if it's good in this game, but it's one of his defining aspects as a character in the Marvel vs. Capcom games. I feel like my intuition is that they like were not even, would be that they were not even prepared for how, how crazy broken that could be. It's, so I it's even wilder. So, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> it's even wilder when you consider that, uh, uh, in in Mar in versus games, uh, Sentinel can call assists from here. Right. Yeah. Oh. I'm just getting chucked all over the place. Oh my god, <laughs> that slide. <laughs> all right, let's let's play one more and then we'll switch. Yeah, let's do it. That's right. Shit on him, Sentinel. Oh, getting really nagged by a Sentinel here. Come That's on. Right. Thank uh, God for the machine. Uh, All right. A classic boss. battle. And it's it's. I love the way they did Sentinel because part of the way they did Sentinel is very like, it's like like oh like God. you know robot with wacky tools, right? It's, it's it's kind of like a classic animation thing. Yeah. You know. But instead, it's right. like Sentinel looks like. Oh. Ooh. Sentinel looks like like he's gonna fuck you up, right? Like. Yeah, he's so muscly. Even. Yeah, th there's never been uh, a version of Sentinel that I've seen that looks more like you know fucking like center for the Knicks or something. <laughs> oh. Oh, you, you can oh. punch the rocket away. That's dope. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> and like in this game those are just normal moves that was my my crouching heavy punch and then my standing yeah. forward heavy punch all right so that was that was x-men children of the atom we'll see damn colossus looking real big uh next we're gonna move on to uh whatchamacallit marvel superheroes marvel. so i'm gonna change Gonna change the uh let's see. No, it's not Marvel. There we go. Marvel superheroes. Alright. We are leaving that room. And we're going to this room. And uh let's see. AV let me see if I can get you in here. I don't see you right now. I'm in <laughs> the FC one or FC two room, I think. FC two? Yeah, for Marvel that. Superheroes. Oh wait. That's Marvel versus Street Fighter. Uh, no, just Marvel. Marvel superheroes. So if you search, if you type Marvel Super, yeah. So there should be Marvel superheroes arcade FC two. 
Okay, it's got a picture of it. Spider-Man duffing Captain America on it. And you want the arcade FC2 version. Okay, cool. I think, I, I think I'm in there. All I right. got I see I now. See yeah. you. Cool. Let's do it. All right. So again, 10 characters. Oh, shit. Damn, that was you with the camera? That's tight. Um, all right. So now we have we have the Avengers in the mix alongside some Marvel characters, right? Oh, I love these big TVs. This is a great menu screen. Oh, yeah. my God. And they jump through them. Yeah. And now we got... I, I, so if anyone knows how to use the gems in this game, I don't actually know. But... Like even more fan service, right? On one hand, we still have so we still have super jump. Oh. You you have the time stone right now. All right, is it corsicle back kicks? We'll try that. The the UI is a little bit more ornate. We're now seeing like the angled uh, yeah uh, life bars and meter and stuff. Oh wow, the the background looks amazing. Too. Yeah, there's like, a lot more a detail. Lot more it's a lot more detailed, and we've got, like, some really almost 3D-looking fake effects. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Web ball. And, and one, of my, one of my favorite things about this game is that they had to figure out, like, what Spider-Man would look like in, like, prolonged combat. You know? Right. Because in, yeah, like, in the comics, he's always doing a bunch of weird shit. shit. <laughs> what if he just flipped out a lot? Oh. Alright, we got some meter on deck. Alright, I activated the time stone and now I get to speed up. Woo! Alright, let's see what space does. Super armor! Oh, that's what? fucked up. <laughs> Oh yeah. How do I? How do I do my soul, my time shit? Uh, oh, so, there we go. Yeah, so that's your super. But oh. basically, as we hit each other, you'll see gems pop on the screen, and if you get them, that's what lets you use them. Oh, I see. Web ball. All right. Maximum spider. Maximum spider. <laughs> Reality. <laughs> oh, we didn't get to see what the reality gem did. <laughs> oh, we got real. You could win if you didn't keep hitting my foot with your head. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Ah, oh, yeah, Pikshuma. Oh my god, I love this. Sassy pose. Right? Oh my god. Chuba's about to be on a sitcom starting Thursday nights. CBS. <laughs> he actually does look like he could That's fit in WandaVision. So Chuma. Which, I don't know, have you been watching WandaVision? No, I haven't. Alright. As, as a scholar of media, I think you would like it. Really? Yeah. Alright. Yeah, actually, I was having... I was... I, Hearing some good things about it from people who, who normally don't say good things about Marvel stuff. Right. Yes. Yeah. That is no, exactly I get it. the situation. I am. I am generally one of those people. Watch Wandavision, and All watch right. Wandavision knowing that Elizabeth Olsen is one of the Olsen sisters. Oh shit. Yeah. That is that is all the context you need. You don't need to know shit about Vision or Wanda or any of that shit. Mm. I thought it was like, I was hearing that name and I was like, damn, is this like Technicolor or something? WandaVision. <laughs> yes. Oh, we're destroying the environment too. That's yeah. pretty cool. Can we knock, can we fall off this bridge? I don't think so. I don't think we had that yet. Though we will see something like that in X-Men versus Street Fighter. Look at, look at that beautiful blue sky. Oh wait, the bridge drops? Andreas is saying the bridge drops. Excellent. I was like, there's this thing that says, like... <sighs> oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, here we go. Hell, yeah. 
I was I was wondering why this. Oh my god! And the 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 like the 3D effect on the 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 perspective on the uh, the yeah the they're doing like some cool. real early. Oh my god. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Rowan feels really like. It's like so mobile and yet it feels the movement yet feels super gummy. Yeah. That is that is another weird kind of hallmark of the way they did Marvel games. And I think it persists into Marvel versus Capcom. Um, mm. like this game doesn't feel like Dark Darkstalkers. There's more commitment in the movie. Yeah, definitely you know? not. Yeah, there's somehow it's like yeah, it's like there's like a lot of like big movement, but yeah, it's definitely like high commitment. It doesn't let you like move. The fact that there's so much, whoa, <laughs> holy crap. <laughs> ah, yes. Air combos. Oh. Huh. Oh my God. And uh, actually another, fire. another just because I love pointing out the cool shit in this stuff. Look at what happens to Iron Man when I activate the infinity stone. Oh, I guess it didn't it didn't play a hit reaction because you were blocking. But like they they go all over the place with like smears and stuff in the hit reactions to just really sell the hits. It's fucking great. Yeah. See look at that. Oh yeah, that was great. Maximum spider. Maximum spider. Yeah, it's like, it feels like the movement is very big, and yet um, I feel like I can't really control it. Like, whereas in Dark Soccer's, it was like really tight. We were very close to each other, and we were moving like back and forth and up and down very quickly. Yep. <sighs> Um, I liked that better. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's, I mean, Darkstalkers feels a lot tighter and a lot more responsive, right? Like, yeah, yeah. Marvel, Marvel has, I think, Marvel definitely to me feels like, or Marvel games feel like they have uh, a, 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 the, 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 the gap between where you start with movement literacy and where you, where you finish is just much bigger than I think VSAV does. Mm. All right, Magneto, yeah, yeah. cool as hell. Playtime is over. Yeah, he looks... I love that, like... Mm. It's, like, this absolutely the style of its time. Big, yeah. like, super gaudy colors. Part of the reason why I actually hate contemporary Marvel stuff is because they're so terrified of having color. Mm -hmm. um, and everything, like, looks like this muddy mess to me. Yeah. I super hate it. Especially, um, like, because we're used to, like, in my mind, when I think of Magneto, I think of him in these bright-ass colors. And, like, right, yeah. you know, when they show any of these characters in the movies, it's always muted. Right. They're like, they're like, we need to make sure that they're recognizable, but we can't have them have in crazy colors. Because right. that, that is just unacceptable for what a Hollywood movie is supposed to look like. So they end up, like, with this weird compromise where... You end up with these like super, to me, not very imaginative redesigns where mm -hmm. they look like kind of, <clears throat> where they just look like a gunmetal, like gray muted version of, of their old design. So it's yeah. like kind of, it's the worst of both worlds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, like, like at least when I look at some of the Strive redesigns, I'm like, okay, so like we're keeping the same general silhouettes and colors. We're just shopping from a different yeah. catalog, right? Right, exactly. Like Kai, Kai really looks like, a little bit more Banana Republic than he used to. Like that's okay. You know? Right. Like they're like, okay, we're keeping this silhouette. We got like we don't want this huge bulky like jacket that looks like it's from Trigun or something like yeah. that because that was what we were like going for before. But we're putting like a jacket on his shoulders so that Ooh. he has that same sort of silhouette. We're right. making sure that he's got that big sword out. Like, um, like. There's just like ways in which they can nod to it. Like Soul like looks I'm like, man, Soul is the same, right? It's like 
soul looks pretty different between like X third XX mm -hmm. and like and strive if you like actually like sit down and look at those designs. Yeah, absolutely. But if you like think about what they look like, oh my god, I was blocking. <laughs> Damn, that did Bullshit. hella damage. <laughs> 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 that was nonsense. Um, but yeah, it, yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. So he actually looks like pretty different. Damn, Spidey just humor. saying not bad, but you still look stupid in that outfit. I feel like this is this is exactly what we're talking about. <laughs> uh, it's like, but it's like recognizable as Soul because he's got like he has this like pose yeah. and like this manner conveyed by that pose. It's yeah. like. His pose in like uh, Strive is like pretty much exactly the same as it is in XX, but mm -hmm. his uh, um, and and in Strive it's pretty different, but it's the same like emotional. Yeah, with, with Guilty Gear characters, you don't get the idea that their their wardrobe is just literally the same thing, you know? Like like Chip probably does not have a closet full of like ninja motorcycle jackets and <laughs> and you know like kind of ninja pants right he probably has a lot of different jackets and a lot of different pants that all kind of evoke the same thing and in any, any given right. guilty gear he's just wearing a different combination of the same shit right yeah exactly like that's it gives us it, it conveys something different and yeah. like i mean not that the lord oh my god whoa um Like, I wonder if they're doing that for, if Kai is looking especially casual because he's supposed to be not a king anymore. I don't know what's happening in Guilty Gear Story. <laughs> in Guilty Gear Story, of the games that I've played. Mm -hmm. um, like, when I just remembered that there was a character who became the Joker, um, <laughs> and we've never talked about that. We never talked about the fact that she literally just was the Joker. Yeah. Like, and I think that that came out pretty soon after the Heath Ledger movie. I think they were really trying to make her the first female Joker. <laughs> <laughs> Truly a pioneer. Way ahead of it. Really ahead of its time. All right, we got the big boy battle now. All right. Oh. <laughs> I thought you were going to do it one more time. <laughs> oh, I'll take it. <laughs> There is, th these two are playing footsies from full screen. Look at that shit. <laughs> the oh, whiff punish. Oh no! <laughs> punish the... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Whoa. I can't tell what his special moves are. Woo. Oh, here we go. Oh, Hulk? Yeah, he's got Gamma Crush. He should have a fireball in this game. What? Yeah. Oh, there we go. He picks up the ground and throws it at you. Wait, I think that. Oh, I love this. I love this idol. He's like. Ow. He's got his Ow. big old mouth open. Oh my god. Stop knocking gems out of me. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I think Juggernaut has armor in this game, I want to say. Thanks for not killing me. <laughs> um, uh, I try Blackheart. See. Blackheart's yeah. a huge weirdo. He also looks like he is from. Uh, just from like, whoa, what? Yeah, just get used to black hearts. Hey, shit what if a I just bit. had a bunch of guys? Yep. Okay, cool. I can't tell. Hey, mine. All right, so Mapacho here is is describing Blackheart as one of the patron patron saints of Monster Fucker Awakening. <laughs> and you know, I can kind of see it, yeah. but that never would have made sense to me before. There's, wait. I'm gonna stop myself. Um, there's, I I definitely see it. Um, 
there's something about like a uh, a really like a a man with no face. Mm -hmm. For a certain sort of person. <laughs> um, and I'll be withholding further comment until. <laughs> What if, what if man? Both in my but, attorney. But no face. <laughs> oh my god, ow. And so like one of the things what I one of the things that I feel compelled to point out here is like we've played a couple different weird characters in this game, right? And in 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 uh uh X-Men actually, right? Like when you're yeah, so, so you're switching to Wolverine, you just played Hulk. And you just played Blackheart. Let me know how Wolverine feels by by contrast. Oh wow, he is really tiny. <laughs> <laughs> At oh, least I they captured that garage. part of his identity, right? Like, oh my god, wow, whoa, I'm. Oh, neat. So Wolverine has his healing factor in this game. Check it out. Oh, really? Yeah. When you get hit, he, he gets like maybe 30% of the damage refunded. Oh, wow. Huh. Well, he definitely feels, he does actually feel way better than a lot of the other characters. Right? And, and like, that's the thing. Like they, I think they, so when 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 they create you know characters like Juggernaut and Hulk, they make them slow and and big with lots of big buttons, right? And that kind of that kind of captures the fantasy of the character, right? Right. Yeah. But it feels like shit to play. Yeah. It's like who would who would who would just play this? You know, like yeah, some some people will be into it, but like if some of the satisfaction of fighting games, and we've talked about this a bunch, like if some of the satisfaction of fighting games oh. is being able to press lots of buttons really quickly, like Juggernaut's gonna give, not gonna give you that, right? Right. Yeah, it like feels satisfying to press those those big buttons, but then you're like, oh my god, I feel like I can't do anything. Yeah. Uh, Blackheart was real weird. Yeah, Blackheart's a super weird. Um. Because he was kind of projectile-y, but then he couldn't really do much with it, I didn't feel. Web? Oh. Web Sting. Are we a Spider Sting, I think? Yeah. I think that's his DP. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Spider Sting. Don't forget trying out the gems. Core circle back and, and three punches, I think. And three. Um. Oh, maximum spot. Well, that's. There you go. Oh, here we go, yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> This is this is his jab. This is his light punch. This should do something. Yeah. <laughs> Not even Poe Temkin gets that on a yeah. light punch. That's at least like a slash for him. Oh. Oh shit. Whoa, what? <laughs> oh, that's cool. Yeah, I just felt like I was like locked in position having to eat those hits. Like I knew I was gonna get hit. But it just took, Yeah, right. It takes so <laughs> long for for Juggernaut to finish doing his thing. Look at that. I was surprised how far away I could throw that guy. Yep. Oh. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Head crush. Look at that. Oh, 
So if if Juggernaut had been closer, then he would have kicked Spider Man away. That's his like his 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 win pose. Yeah, I, I do like that. Like, there is a lot of characterization. Oh my god, we're oh my god. Oof. Real oh, this Reality. is this is like Ouroboros, I think. Yeah. Oh. All right, let's see what mine does. I think it's, it's a meter, right? Oh yeah, it's just, just getting that free meter. Infinity. There we go. Mine. Damn, that's a lot of meter. Now, is Thanatos in this game? Is, is Thanos in this or game? Thanos. Yeah. Uh, I don't think they put him in until Marvel 2. But wait, he actually, he might be the boss? I don't remember. I didn't play this game that much. He might be, I think he might be the boss in this game. Because they got the Infinity Stones. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. You're um, right. I think he is the boss in this game. Hey, Spider Sing. <laughs> 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 Alright, let's, let's do one more. And then we'll move on to X-Men yeah. versus Street Fighter. I definitely like this one a lot less than than the X-Men one. Yeah. The 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 fans request that you picked Captain pick Captain America. Oh, oh, okay. I guess it's the only one I haven't picked. Yeah. Whoa, what's with this? Intro. This is we're at Stark oh, Enterprises. Hey Raf, thank you so much yeah, for the raid, homie. Appreciate flat. it. Shield Slash. Ha! Oh my god. Stars and Stripes. Shield Slash. Shield slash. <laughs> oh, I gotta pick it up. Oh. Oh. Nice. Ha! Oh my god. <laughs> Oh. Stars and stripes. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> Juggernaut. You Juggernaut sure is like are. a Pokemon. <laughs> you sure are, honey. You are Juggernaut. Oh my god. Ha. Oh. Oh my god. Power jam. Infinity Oh oh damn it. <laughs> do do that again. That super looks cool as fuck. I think it's I think it's a yeah. Final justice. Ha! Huh. Alright, and then hold on. Oh shit. shit. <laughs> <laughs> damn it. Alright. So that was Marvel Super Heroes. Super Gamer! I'm a super gamer. I don't know what that means, but... Whoa, you're a super gamer. I'm a super yeah. gamer. Hey, Imagine yeah. Obama coming through with the big raid. What up, homie? Woo! Y'all coming through? So we just, we're just we actually just wrapping Marvel Super Heroes, and we're going to check out some, uh, some fucking X-Men versus Street Fighter right now. So you came in for the best part. So this is... If, if X-Men and Marvel superheroes were kind of where the uh, where, where where Capcom figured out how to do their uh, their 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 licensed stuff and, and like adapt, you know, uh, the, the, the Marvel characters into a Capcom feeling fighting game. Let's uh, let's take a look at what happens when they really start to embrace it. So let's get you in the X-Men versus Street Fighter lobby, A.V. I don't see you here. All right, wait, we're in. And also, yeah, shout, shout out to Majin Obama. He's been doing excellent work uh, with 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 the 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 Guilty Gear Strive content game in particular. It's been a pleasure to watch. So, um, thanks for the raid, homie. And keep it keep that shit up. Yeah, I've been watching some of his videos. They've been really helpful. Yeah, and I'm excited to have. I guess I don't know how much Plus R he played, um, but I'm excited to have a Guilty Gear that I can play him in without having to be in the same general area. Hmm. Mm hmm. Because the last time I saw him was in bracket in a, it's like combo breaker like two three years ago, and he beat my ass and got salty about it. 
<laughs> All right. I'm challenging you to some X Men versus Street Fighter. So, this was their first tag All fighting right. game. And uh, it's a real good one. I got to say, it's, it was so hard to find the right one because there's X Men versus Marvel. And, yeah. And, they, they did a lot of them. <laughs> All right. So we got we got some X-Men. And we got some Street Fighters. Oh, yeah, we do. I'll start out. Well, well I'll, I'll, oh, I'll start this out is, playing the this Street Fighters. This is a tag, side. right? What's up? Yes. So you got to pick two of them. You got to pick two. All right. All right. Two of the <laughs> strongest. Yeah, let's see. I'll, I can, I can, I think I can stop the... Ready. Yeah, we'll, we'll see if that pauses the alerts a little bit. <sighs> Y'all came through with the follows for real. I appreciate it. So we got Rogue in here, but we also got Ryu, right? Look at what happens now. One, the stage is awesome. But two, look at what happens when you take uh, when you take a Street Fighter characters. Like if, if, if X-Men was like yeah. around, you know, Darkstalker's power level. How do we get Street Fighter characters to feel as powerful as a, right. a Marvel character? Well, step one is you make Ryu's fireball fucking the size of his whole body. Right? Oh my god. Let's see, I think. All right, so yeah, you can tag like that. Dalsim actually is a little bit easier to make weird because he was already weird. <laughs> let, let him just, as always. So good for him to just say yoga while, <laughs> while punching me in the fucking yeah. face. Yeah, but his yoga flame oh is now the full full ass screen. Holy crap! Okay. Oh, oh and there God. we go with the 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 floor break. Now we're under underground. There's actually some combos in this game that you can set up using the police van in the up in the left side of the, the upper floor. Oh my God! Which is kind of cool. Whoa! And we got some. We got the jazz coming in. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is this is absolutely just reflective of that period in fighting game history where every soundtrack was jazzy for some reason. Oh, oh my God, that traded. Yeah. <laughs> so Rogue actually has a neat thing. I want to see it's on like core circle forward punch or something. Yeah, there you go. So you just you just took a move. Oh, cool. I think that's how it works in later games. I don't know what she takes from. Yeah, there you go. Oh yeah, damn it is. Oh, that's fun. Oh. Damn, I just got fucking dunked. There we go. Woo. Yeah, now Shinku Adoken is, is not just like a three to five hit super. It's a full ass beam, baby. Yeah, that. it's like a laser beam. You win! You win! And because because they took the, the, you know this is the the character art for for and the sprites and everything the animations for Street Fighter characters is coming from Alpha, so or the Zero series right, so they have right. the Z motif for the Street Fighter characters and the X motif for the X Men. Come on, Monami. This is Gambit. Gambit was the coolest shit. I, as far as I remember, they did them dirty in all the X-Men stuff that I saw, like the movies and shit. But from these games and the cartoons, there was no way yeah. Gambit wasn't the coolest. Also, if you want to tag, it's Heavy Punch and Heavy Kick. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> that is a really unenthusiastic yoga. Yoga. Uh, yeah, it's like yoga. Yoga. Oh. <laughs> I love teleporting in front of someone and getting thrown. All right. Oh man. And for the uh, as far as the deep lore goes, like I was not big on X Men versus Street Fighter when it came out because I was I was not near an arcade that had it. Um, so when I saw it, I'd play it, but I didn't know shit about how to play this game. However, uh, one of the first times that I visited the Philippines after getting into fighting games. Uh, I realized that they had a lot more arcades and arcade cabinets out there just in malls and shit, right? Especially in Manila. Like, Manila is full of malls for shopping, but also because you need air conditioning to do a goddamn thing. It's way too fucking hot, right? Um, and so there were just, like, 
like kids like you know 10 11 12 year old kids hanging out in the arcades like during you know fucking school days or whatever um and i would just i would just you know put it put a coin into like x-men versus street fighter or marvel superheroes or whatever and the, and and just one some random kid would walk up and then instantly infinite me because these games are full <laughs> of infinites and I don't know, like I don't know, like how good they were as fighting game players, but they definitely knew how to how to just fuck me up and take my money. It was great. Ready. Yeah. Whew. Yeah, Zangief. Oh my god. Da. Oh my god. That's right. The slow ass half like <laughs> half screen tall fireball just doing work oh that's right and, and you can do uh team attacks oh too which God. is just the coolest shit so that, that's core circle forward heavy punch and heavy kick with like any team and it's kind of genius because instantly you're like oh everyone yeah. can do this cool the coolest thing or you know one of the coolest things in the game and you can just do that shit yeah it's just like oh my god Oh my god. Yep. So AV, how comfortable are you with like chain combos at this point? I am uh, I'm more comfortable with them, but I got to say that like this this fucks me up. Yep. There's something about the Marvel system that's so different than than Guilty Gear. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, uh and I wouldn't say that I'm necessarily the best at like, uh, oh my god. Uh, it's it's definitely a different ask, right? Like to try and just pick up one of these games, like just. Oh, Good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like this music change. Oh, it's funny. So, the the way. Oh my god. The, the disrespect, just sending that fool bouncing. Um, the, the way that versus games usually handle the music is when someone is coming in, right? Like uh, after a knockout, right? After the teammate got knocked out, their music plays. And it's meant to be really cool, but the problem is, and this is this is a bigger problem in, in like other, in, in especially in the Marvel versus Capcom 2 and 3 games, is that you're just gonna get mixed and you're, you're gonna die, but you're gonna die to your own soundtrack. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll try to swapping up the teams a little bit. Here comes a new challenge. So we got Akuma up here. So is the the selectable uh, secret character here. Um, who else is cool? We'll go with we'll go with Saber Two. And. Oh, we got some great palettes we'll in here. We'll go camera. Terminated! I'm loving this Saber 2 palette. <laughs> Holy shit. It's so cool. And he's got... Um, oh, he's got like... Uh, let's see if I can remember how to do it. There we go. Birdie! Yeah, boss. Yes, yeah, boss. <laughs> yeah, and if you want some FGC deep lore... Uh, James Chen wrote uh, one of the more notorious game facts for this game in which he he has a section and it's still up there. You can still find it where he's just complaining <laughs> about Sabretooth. <laughs> yeah, boss. What's, what's uh, other than that? What sucks about Sabretooth? This. Oh, shit. He's got a really fast jab and really good air buttons. Yeah, I noticed that. I was like, damn, I'm really getting hit a lot. Oh. Woo. Yeah, and in this game, it's like, like you can you can definitely feel that Street Fighter characters oh. are, are just like punching a little bit, uh, uh, punching up a couple weight classes. You know what I mean? <laughs> Yeah, no, I do. I, I remember liking this when I, because I, I have some familiarity with these games. Mm -hmm. um, maybe more so than like the actual Street Fighters. Yeah. Um, just because 
Uh, just because a lot of friends tended to have them. Oh at the no! Time. <laughs> Um, yeah, there's something about how, like, I guess I've never been, like, on, on chain combos specifically. Yeah. I, I'm i a lot more comfortable, I think, with, like, games that I know better. Mm -hmm. And I'm having a really hard time, like, applying what I know from Guilty Gear and Uni to these games. Oh, yeah. Um, like, I guess I'm just not sure what I'm supposed to be doing. Right so, the... In in general, when it comes to the versus games, there are, uh, the the rule the the base the go to combo rules are the magic series rules, right? So it's usually mm -hmm. like the the base one you want to think about is like uh, you press a button, and then if you're you know you're you're playing with the six button layout, you can go yeah uh, down, right? So if you go from light punch to light yep. kick, then you can go from light kick to medium punch, so you can go back up. Right, and then down again, but it's not true. It's not. Yeah. I think it's not globally true for every character. But that, that's the general rule. Now you don't have to do just that, but that's kind of like the maximum, right? Mm -hmm. So let's let's actually let's just get you trying out an air combo. Let's see who's uh, the, the, the. I think these two will be good to practice on. All right. So I don't. I don't. I have no idea what Zangief's launcher is. Try stand heavy, like stand heavy, heavy kick maybe. Uh, try oh, just standing, medium like a standing heavy kick. Uh, so oh, that's a okay. small one. All right. Oh, that's cool. I didn't realize he couldn't bite you, like if he just leaves it. <laughs> yeah, All right. Uh, try down medium punch. Try that. Yeah. So that's his launcher. Right. So your your okay. basic your basic combo on the ground is probably just going to be crouching kick, crouching light kick into crouching medium punch. Try that. And it's going to be faster. It's going to be like tack tack. Cuz you need basically you need to input the button, the the button you want to combo into right when the first button hits. Oh, does he not have the chain? Okay. Wow, so yeah, Zang, I don't think he Yeah, does. pick pick go switch to Chun. I think her 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 launcher is standing heavy, heavy kick. Yeah. So you, you want it you're you're already yeah, you get pushed too far away. So you, it's you're gonna yeah. do something like crouch light kick into stand roundhouse, right? Okay. Yeah, there you go. Whoop. And then when you follow it up, you wanna catch him. Yeah, just like that. So we'll try that, we'll try it one more time. It's like this is one of the things I feel about like combo heavy like like chain games. Yeah. Is that the timing is usually just like so different between the different games mm -hmm. that at least like compared to like maybe other genres, yeah. like get get back I can't quite just go into it. Like I could put like like I've noticed that I can like just pick another Guilty Gear character and be like, okay, I, I get what your basic combo is mm -hmm. after like a couple of minutes in, in story mode. Sure. Um, but. So like you kind of can do that in this game. It's just that the speed is faster, right? Right. Yeah. Guilty, and and it's, it's a very specific thing. Guilty Gear has more hit pause on hits than I think X-Men versus Street Fighter does, right? Yeah. These, these attacks are just faster. I definitely noticed that like Guilty Gear is actually like pretty slow. Yeah. In terms of like the combo. Like in some ways. In other ways it's like one of the Yeah, you, you have you have more time. Wow. That's hilarious. That's, was that her crouching light kick? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I can't even. Oh my okay. god. <laughs> yeah, I can't that does not combo. Yeah, you could try it's gotta Ooh. be like light punch. I wonder if you if you can go. That's interesting. Yeah, I I feel bad for the Street Fighter characters. It might be yeah. why you don't see people play them very often. <laughs> this is super Mega Manny music. When yeah. it's not jazzy, like the intro is like, oh yeah, that yeah. just like. So there is there is dash momentum. Oh if you're dashing into into rogue and you go for like a crouch light kick into heavy into stand heavy kick, that might work. Um, but 
Yeah, I think it sounds like she just has to go for a raw launcher because her the pushback on her normals is so. That stand stand roundhouse is terrible. And I understand why they're using it for a launcher because that's like that is one of the attacks that you see her do in other games. I think. Yeah. 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 I'm gonna, it I'm gonna, I'm like gonna put launcher, your team out of their misery because that this team is is garbage. <laughs> Let's see if I remember how to do any of the infinites in this game. Let's go, Ready. Teach me how to do an infinite. Oh, oh let's see, what's this? What's the, there we go. It's, oh, no, it's, it, it has to do with his dive kick. Yeah, there we go. I don't remember what the full string is though. So I, need, I need flying screen. Yeah, I can start seeing though, like how how they're evolving the idea of like the 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 anime combo game. Yeah. Like they're even being like, oh, you did a combo in the air. We're gonna give a special shout out to that. Right. Cause that's crazy. We'll pull Cyclops. Oh, it's it's off the it's off his like Ford Fierce, I think, is where it is. But yeah, I don't, I don't remember how to do his infinites. How hard is it to do these infinites? It's not hard. They're they're <laughs> incredibly. I mean, Wolverine and Cyclops in particular have garbage ass easy. Like I I remember when, once I got hit by them, I looked them up on Game Facts and I was doing them on my like my my iBook keyboard. Oh my god. Yeah. I love I am an X-Man. Don't even think about it. <laughs> I guess I won't. I guess you're an X-Man. You're, you're thinking about um, it right now. I said, stop it. Stop it. <laughs> stop, stop thinking. I'm sorry. It's really hard. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Storm and Magneto. These, these are two X-Men versus Street Fighter characters. And this is... Yeah, yeah I, I mean, know. Historically, like, Capcom characters do have problems in these games. Like, Strider is usually one of the best Capcom characters in a Versus game. But you put, yeah, you put Street I, Fighter characters in the shit, they get fucked up. Oh, so Storm I has her know, air dash. I do know up. about this. Yeah. I know about, I know that thing is good. Yeah. I've heard about it. So Storm also has an air I've dash. I've heard so. It'll be uh, a direction in the air, and I think three punches should do it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But it's eight ways. Her and Magneto both should have eight-way air dashes in this game. So you can go like uh, air dash up or jump up and then you air dash down forward. Whoa. Oh. oh, that's that's the van right there. We can get some van now. combos. See that? Yeah. We got van combos, baby. <laughs> Oh my god. Yes! Oh, almost. Yeah. With Magneto, uh, you can try doing... He's, he's got some air combos in this game. Um, so if you if you do... With him, it's it's you can do like light kick... Into, or crouch light kick and a crouch heavy punch. That's the, the, the string you do on the ground. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Yeah. And then when you... Yeah, when you follow it up, you just go like... Uh, you, you just go from top to bottom and from left to right. There you go. Okay, close enough. Yeah. Damn. Wait, can you just... Hmm? Yes. Yes. Yeah, that's the idea. It's you just gotta press those buttons faster, right? And and here's the thing: press is those buttons. you're not you're not pressing a button and waiting to see if it hits. You already know it's gonna hit because you're right. you already know you got the combo, right? Right. This Ooh. is this is actually this is probably a good way to get used to six button games, to be honest. <laughs> Yeah, you do have to use all all six of those buttons real fast. You sure do. Until Marvel oh. 2, anyway. In Marvel 2, they gave you two dedicated assist buttons, and so you only have four attacks. 
God. Finally, something reasonable. <laughs> All right. What else we want to see? It. Yo. It's interesting. I'm I'm noticing this now, but it's been interesting to watch the 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 change as we get closer to games that are Guilty Gear. Mm -hmm. Your skill level is like rising exponentially. <laughs> like I'm noticing. Like like we had some like like you definitely have have the fundamentals, no question. But like it was. Like, I just, like, noticed, like, how we had, like, some really even intense matches in, like, Garo, Mark of the Wolves. Sure, yeah. And in this, in this game, it's like, whoa, the difference is so crazy. Yep. Well, and, and I mean, some of this is just because, like, I, I, didn't, I didn't play that much X-Men versus Street Fighter, but I played a good amount of Marvel 2 and Marvel 3, right? Right, yeah. So you have, like, some of that kind of... Yeah. The, the Marvel fundamentals. Exactly. Like this right here, the, the the it's it's called a triangle jump, right? When you're doing the the jump, a super jump into down forward, uh, a down forward air dash for like very quick high low mix ups like that. That is that is a like that is a necessary technique if you're playing Marvel two. And I learned it in Marvel two, and then afterwards I came back to X Men vs Street Fighter. It's like oh shit, this you can you can do it in this game too. That's awesome. Storm has one as well. Yeah, from that pure, like, as a fighting game fan only, my, like, knowledge, and I, I never really watched too much Marvel, mm -hmm. um, just because it wasn't really my jam, personally. Yeah. Um, but I know, like, you know, I've watched enough of it to know a little bit about, like, what is, because I was curious, like, what makes, what makes someone good in this yeah. game? Like, what's important? Um, and it turns out air mobility. Mm -hmm. um, air and, mobility is huge. And, and being able to run really fast overhead mix-ups. Yep. Um, or even just being able to, like, like imagine Ryu trying to catch up to that, you know? Right, yeah. Like It fucking sucks for him. He's like, go, come, come back here so I can show you can, and you can air block it. <laughs> Whoa, that vacuums you into a yeah. combo? Holy shit, that's dirty as hell. Magnetic Tempest. Oh my god. I love... It's so funny, every time you do a super, I faultless defense it. <laughs> <laughs> it's good instincts. <laughs> Just to let you know, I, I didn't actually take any chip damage from it. Oh my God. I do I do like the stage <laughs> transition stuff. They did like, you know, two different versions of that stage so you can see it on fire. Now yeah, you are where you belong at my feet. All right. All right. Yeah, man. really good cool. visual design. You can really see it cuz like honestly like uh, X-Men Children of the Autumn was like very plain looking. Yeah. Um Yeah, like the the UI, the presentation, it's all getting more, right? Yeah. We should we should actually we'll play one more in X Men vs Street Fighter and then we'll do one uh uh we'll, we should just do Marvel vs Capcom one real quick. Oh yeah, let's do that. Marvel vs Street Fighter is not that I I don't think it's really worth a mention so much, but we'll go we'll go right into Marvel Marvel vs Capcom one. Also, if you want a faultless defense in this game, as Strider Zero is pointing out, uh, you can push block. You, so, oh yeah yeah just press th i think it's three punches while you're blocking yeah oh there and it's we go. free you have to spend meter on it it's free yep damn yeah Ooh. big money okay what do i got oh you, uh, yeah you got hyper grab. oh shit <laughs> Oh. Dang. Oh my god. There goes my health regen. Oh. Berserker Barrage. 
Oh. <laughs> Damn, all right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, all right. Gonna make it rain. Peace! <laughs> Damn. <laughs> how do you... How do you Bye. approach the lady? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm just chilling, build, building a meter. Don't mind me. Oh my god! Okay. Can I still do that? Oh my god! <laughs> Storm died on the way back to her home planet. Jeez! <laughs> hey! And this is why arcades died, <laughs> because <laughs> because because you can't video games were cool as hell, <laughs> but the people who played them would find shit like this. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you got me. You're gonna win this by timeout. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Let it end. Yeah. So so right there, you know, so the thing, that was X-Men versus Street Fighter. And this game is broken as hell, but people love it. Uh, it definitely made waves when it came out for being, uh, you know, a tag game, right? Tag game. We hadn't, we hadn't really seen that kind of shit. So now let's go to Marvel versus Capcom 1. We'll do the ar arcade FC2 version. Let's pull this down real quick. Um, God, you need to stop. <laughs> All right. They're so hungry. Just, it, it's the the UX and the design of Fightcade is really unfortunate. All right. So. All of a sudden, one, everything just a little bit brighter, a little bit happier, a little bit more upbeat. Who the fuck is Jin? Who the fuck is Captain <laughs> Commando, right? Like, we're seeing characters. We got Venom in here. We're seeing characters that feel like they, they, they know a little bit more about the game that we're making, right? Right, yeah. We've got some, they, they're like, what if, let's just bring out the real weirdos for this game exactly right it's not marvel versus street fighter anymore because all the street fighter characters fucking sucked so now and you still have chun you have ryu you have you have zangief right but like we got a whole bunch more in here we got mega man you know how hype it was and i just i just want to mash that that quarter sound so you can hear it go let's go crazy over and over and over <laughs> let's go crazy I mean, like, that, that makes a huge amount of sense, honestly, because it's like, you know, it doesn't... I remember as a kid, it was like, who the fuck are these people? Uh, these are from games that, like, never came out. We never even heard of them. Yeah. But, like, they make way more sense, and they're also way cooler. Yep. They, they suit, they suit, like... It, the Marvel characters kind of set like the high point for like what this game is about and who exists in it. Oh exactly. my god. And we so have this like, like we, dedicated assist it. mechanic. Like so you can press medium punch and medium kick. Basically, you get a pseudo random uh you can actually pick it, but th there are dedicated assist characters in this game. Like we've got Arthur from Goals and Ghosts versus I forget what that dude is that you got. Yeah. Right? But it's just it becomes it's like it's a showcase of Capcom characters and Marvel characters, right? Look, look at how cool Venom looks in this game. Yeah, and they made him a, for this game. Like, I don't think fun. he was in any others. Yeah, I don't think he was either. That's and right. you, can, you can kind of tell almost because of how good he looks. Yeah. Woo. Oh, damn. Look at this shit! You get first person like <laughs> cinematic shit in a 2D fighting game? That's so cool! Venom Whip! Oh. Yeah, shouts to Lou, thank you. Uh, what is. Oh, what do you think that is? Uh, what, you're glowing? 
So when, yeah. when Jin is the last member on his team and he is under, I think, like 15 or 20% health, he gets, I want to say he gets hyper armor on everything. Hyper combo finish! Captain Thor. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, that's right. Awful. Another... <laughs> 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 Thank you for playing this game. Uh, another another perk of versus games is that you can press start after you win to just run up and duff people. Oh, so you did that on purpose? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that wasn't that wasn't Captain Commander. That was that was. All <laughs> I was like, I, I thought it was like, damn. <laughs> uh. Strider here we go. Now we're at we're at Honda's fucking bathhouse. I see that some people are had are getting are getting air dashes. Yep. Does Morgan have one? You can try it. Oh yeah, she she sure does. Yeah. And it's like it's not quite her her hover dash, but it's cool that she gets it. You know. Yeah, I mean, I think she... Oh, yeah, she doesn't actually have the hover dash, huh? No. Nope. She just has... Oh, I thought I could have done something. Oh. Oh, my God. <laughs> and, like, when you think of, like, what an anti-air should be in this game, right? It's not It's not a Shoryuken. Shoryuken... You don't expect Shoryuken to do shit up here. Captain... Captain Sword? Captain Corridor? Hell, yeah. Yeah, for real. With the the height of the game this much it's so it's so interesting to watch like how how guilty gear has like 6p as like an anti-air button which is unimaginable yeah at this point you almost have to appeal you you almost have to appreciate how much guilty gear actually kind of turned things down a little bit mm -hmm. that will be even more appreciable once we get in the world versus capcom 2. god <laughs> <laughs> i think that i think that's what we'll play next week yeah, I guess we'll, we'll have to devote some real time to that. I now these are we're actually venturing into games that I have played before. Like I did play this game in high school, and I did mm -hmm. play uh, uh, Marvel vs. Capcom too. Right. But like we played it on a friend's Dreamcast. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. I mean, that's that's to be honest, that's the best way to play those games. So you know. Yeah. Um. I want to be that. I like how they didn't even put Iron Man in here. They were like, yeah. we're going to palette swap him and, and make him look even more badass. So, Toe Man John in chat, excellent <laughs> name, by the way, uh, is Incredible. offers this fun tidbit. The reason that there's War Machine and not Iron Man is that Marvel sold the video game rights for Iron Man to someone else, so they just recolored the Iron Man sprite to make it War Machine. Oh, really? Okay, that's really funny. <laughs> They, they changed some of his attacks a little bit, too. Like, Smart Bomb now has, like, spikes on it or some shit. Kept on fire. Oh. That's right. He also has War Destroyer. <laughs> oh my God. So that's for three meters. You press core circle back, heavy punch, and heavy kick. And you can summon your homie out and control them both at the same time. They 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 oh, both shit. respond to your inputs, and you have unlimited super meter for the duration of that moment. Holy crap! Yeah. <laughs> Sounds a little busted. It's so it's it's busted for all kinds of reasons, but the actually the <laughs> the best worst reason is so one of the dumbest shit in this game is it has some secret characters that you have to you have to pick by by doing like special commands at the the character select screen uh-huh and uh one of them is gold war machine and, and gold war machine's shit is that he can't block but he has hyper armor so you can't actually stop him from doing anything whoa um and what you do is you pick gold war machine and regular war machine 
They have a super called War Destroyer. They both have the super where War Machine stands in place. He puts on this backpack and just fires rockets that uh, that go all the way up and then and then come down. Right. If you get them, if you get two War Machines spamming the screen with that shit, it uh, it slows the game down to a crawl and you take a shit ton of chip damage. And there's basically nothing you can do about it. Damn. Yeah. Uh, truly busted. Yeah, versus games degenerate as hell. Like, part of the reason that Marvel 2 survived as long as it did is likely just because it's one of the first Marvel games to have, like, a viable meta at all. Yeah, because it's like... From what I understand, from people having conversations with me about Marvel's Capcom 2, it's that... It's almost that... <laughs> There's so much broken stuff that it just, and so many characters, that a viable, like, tier, like, top tier, mm -hmm. kind of just evolved due to a series of bugs. And weird coincidences. So for, for Marvel 2 and, specifically, the, the thing that defines the top tier is often uh, air mobility. Like, right. most of the characters are kind of like Captain Commando, where they can super jump and they can run around, and that's about it. Right? Um, mm -hmm. You saw Magneto and Storm in X-Men vs. Street Fighter. Those fuckers have eight-way air dashes. Those fuckers have, like, Sentinel has flight. Right. Actually, Ma Magneto and Storm both have flight as well. Um, like, those three have more air mobility than and, and damage potential from that air mobility than just about anyone in the game. And so they end up being the, the folks who really define the meta. And, like, those three plus Cable are basically it for your top tiers. Right, and you, yeah. You can, you can pair assists, and that's how people get a little bit more creative. But, like, really the fascinating thing about Marvel 2, and, and you'll see some of this, because I'll, I'll show you to the best of my ability what top-tier <laughs> bullshit in that game looks like. The thing, about Mar the thing that's fascinating about Marvel 2 is even with a, a very defined top-tier, uh, the game is still has still really has a rich meta just inside that top-tier. All right, who are we looking at here? Who are you liking in this one so far? Um, it's kind of hard to tell. Yeah. <laughs> to be honest, uh, Venom is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Like, it's harder to like. It's actually like way harder to understand like what what's good and what's happening. Yeah. I feel like I had this problem when I was a kid too. Mm -hmm. Like, and it hasn't kind of gotten that much better, <laughs> but. It, is Marvel, baby. Uh, cause it's like, cause yeah, but it does feel like, obviously like air movement is like so crucial. And mm -hmm. like, you feel it every time you do one of these super, super high and completely like with zero, zero horizontal potential uh, jumps. Like, yeah. it's like, I wish more than anything I could move forward, right? So. Yeah. <laughs> Like, there's this whole chunk of the screen that we don't get to use, right? Right. Because, because of that, right? There's, like, when I super jump, I go all the way up here. But right. the area that's kind of in between, we don't really get to navigate that effectively. Because, or at least I don't, right? War Machine actually has an air dash and flight in this game. Oh, yeah? Yeah, there you oh, go. Oh, yeah. Having it be like, oh, I got to do three punches for that is a yeah. little weird. <laughs> oh, yeah. And it's not, like, if you fuck it up, because it's a pu it's punch, punch, punch input, if you fuck it up, like, you're getting an attack, right? Yeah. Not exactly great. No, not at all. It's interesting that they gave Venom this, like, web swing for mobility on a double tap. Hey, really? Yeah, check it. Like if you press, if you double tap forward in the air. Oh, oh, weird. Okay. God, it's so weird that they're like, okay, some people have a have an air dash in the air, and other people do it with three punches. Yeah. Um. Oh. Oh. Do that, do that one again. Just hit me with it. It looks so fucking cool. Yeah, he's got really good animation. Yeah. 
And I love that, again, he's doing stuff that, like, maybe it's because it's Venom specifically. He's, like, the one Marvel character who might be allowed to do it. But, mm -hmm. like, um, they're, like, just, like, letting him warp his body, like, the way that a Darkstalkers character Oh, would. yeah. No, absolutely. Because like, it, it, it fits into... the character, right? He's, he is, he, right. He's, he's very close to, like, an Eddie, right? Yeah. Which, you know, Eddie Brock and Eddie the Demon. Oh, you know, I didn't think about it until hey. just that moment. <laughs> ah. uh, I was liking Jin. Yeah, Jin's cool. I think, I want to say it's his taunt. Try his taunt. Uh, how do you do it? Start. Oh, oh, right. <laughs> All right, mash taunt. Yeah. Mash it. You have to mash it, I think. Nah, no, that's all I can do. Maybe it's down into I don't know. He can he can go. Chat will probably tell me what's up. Oh. Oh, taunt then mash button. All right, taunt then mash buttons. Okay. Oh. Oh, almost. Uh, I don't know if my six setup is making this hard. Ah, oh well. I'll try picking Jin next. <laughs> yeah. Well, I love that throw into your robot. Into the Blodia, yeah. yeah. He just looks so crazy. I mean, and and that's like, that's kind of the funny thing about putting Jin in, in in this game is like I don't remember I don't even remember if Jin was a playable fighter in the game that he was in because it was a mech game. Right. Yeah. Because he was like a pilot, but he's yeah. like. Okay, I do have to love the... That must be a G Gundam reference, whatever the thing is where he was, like, just a spinning cyclone full of bases. Uh-huh. <laughs> the Blodia punch. Oh. Hmm. The, bringing all the commando homies in here. You got the the, the sick pose at the end. Oh. You even have comic book speech bubbles? Yeah, there's like, there's really good attention to detail. Yeah. Oh, I think, oh no. <laughs> and Venom is basically doing Eddie's new move. All right, I'll see if oh, I can Oh, yeah, he totally is. Like, those anime... Like, I actually thought that before you even said it. I was yeah. like, damn, these animations are very Eddie-like. <laughs> it was when he, like, took off his, like, hat, and I was like, oh, he gets covered in shadow just like... Yeah. Just, like, that a one does. All right, let's, let's see if I can do this. Oh, oh shit. And then if... I, oh, no. How do you get him to blow do up? I have to, like... Pull Hold it down. Okay, okay. Okay, I get it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, it's the fire that has the hip. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah, shots of Jin. And and Jin is also cool too, cause like like you were saying, right? I I don't think it's I don't think it's an accident that you you picked up Jin. And you're like, oh, he seems cool. I'll keep on playing him, right? Same with Venom. Part of it is because look at how cool his punch is. Yeah, he's got like these big big animations. Um, this wild like bandana on his back, like. Yep. He, his expressions and all of his portraits are like really intense. Yep. Um. And they kind of kept him in in Marvel too, as well as like the oh, if you don't, if you just want to jump around and press buttons, like we can give you that, right? You don't need to do a whole lot of complicated shit to do to do stuff that yeah. looks cool. Oh. Ha 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 ha. Oh. 
Alright, there we go. <laughs> he gets the rock ball! <laughs> yeah, I love that just like, what if you could just play around? Yep. Um, uh... Oh. And it's, it's really, it's funny, it's weird to think about it, but it's really in this game where it feels like Capcom starts to figure out how to like celebrate their characters a little bit more, you know? Yeah. They, they just spent the last couple years just churning out all these different arcade games, all these different characters, all these different systems, and they didn't really have time to like celebrate them that much, right? Mega Man in this game, he gets different items that change his abilities. That's so cool. Strider gets Ouroboros. That shit is kind of broken as hell, but <laughs> that's the point. You don't want to see Strider in a fucking Street Fighter game because it'll look boring as shit. Anyway, let's play one more and then we'll wrap it up. Yeah. Yeah, no, it is really cool that they're like... <sighs> yeah, let's, 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 let's make the characters have a lot of personality. Let's use their charisma. Like... At a time, now everyone does this shit, you know? Mm -hmm. We're used in fucking Fortnite gaming. <laughs> um, but like, at the time it was pretty, like it was a pretty new thing. Yep. And, and it must have felt pretty nice to be like, hey, these, these characters are like recognizable enough that they can like hold their own game. I mean, and, and even with the Street Fighter characters, right? Like, think about what a big deal Street Fighter was in the early 90s. Yeah. yeah. Like, oh, yeah. the fact that, that that they were in this game with Marvel characters is not... It's not, like, a, a downgrade, you know? Right, right, yeah, no. Street Fighter was just a huge phenomenon at the time. Um, and, like, oh, my gosh. Oh, I can tell what I guess. Oh my god. There's the homie that. juggernaut coming in real quick. <laughs> yeah. Do a core circle forward and two punches with Strider. You basically get to do whatever you want now. Oh, cool. Yeah, those things have hitboxes. Then I'll do that. <laughs> the thing the so the, 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 the orbs have hitboxes, and every time you press an attack button, they'll shoot out the discs too. Oh wow. Yeah. Yeah, this was the, that was the famous thing about this character. Yeah. That's why this character is like known what, more for these appearances, right? Oh yeah. my god. Oh, don't hurt me. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. I could not tell what was happening there either. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I have literally no idea. Why must I fight you? We are not enemies. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what a thing to say after beating someone's ass. Yeah, right? <laughs> All right. Well, well, we'll call it there for uh, for Marvel vs. Capcom. Um, I guess, so So th that is, you know, now, an hour and a half later, two hours later, like, we've gotten to see a little bit of where, of where Capcom's initial kind of foray into non-traditional fighting game stuff turned into licensed work, right, with the mm -hmm. Marvel characters. <laughs> And this was super wild for me because, like, my interaction with the Marvel IP as a kid was the trading cards and the X-Men animated series. That was pretty much it. Mm, um, mm -hmm. it, was, it wasn't until the fighting games came out that I really started to get attached to these characters in, in, in specific ways. But because I got attached to them as fighting game characters, when the movies came out, I'm like, Cyclops isn't saying Optic Blast. Wolverine's never going to say Berserker Barrage. Right. And it didn't it right. didn't register in my head at the time, but it wasn't until Marvel three came out when and, and you know what it was? It was when Marvel three came out. And you know who what was who was the most exciting character that was released in Marvel three, the original vanilla Marvel three? It was Sentinel. 
Sentinel mm -hmm. is one of those characters that no one gives a fuck about unless you played Marvel 2. And in Marvel 2, because he's top tier and because he's a lot of fun and because his animations have all this charisma and the players really imbued the character of Sentinel as a right. fan favorite, right? Um, that them putting Sentinel in Marvel 3 was like this, this message that, they, that someone who is working on this game fucking got it, right? And... I've mm. talked to Seth a little bit about what the, the licensing conversations were, were like. I can't imagine that it was easy to get Sentinel, mostly because I'm sure Marvel was just like, wait, what the fuck? Really? You want him? You don't want like we, we got we got Dark Phoenix. Go give Dark Phoenix a shot. Dark Phoenix is cool, right? Rocket Raccoon. We're trying to do this thing with Guardians of the Galaxy. It'll be super dope. I just imagine the Capcom dev team being like like they're huddling, they're whispering each other. Now we need Sentinel or this game is going to do shit, man. Like, I, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Right, exactly. Like, no, it's it, and it's it is really amazing. I was thinking about that as, when I was playing Strider as I as as to play as I picked him up. I was like, oh, I couldn't even tell you the the original Capcom game he was from, but like yeah. he's certainly very famous for doing Ouroboros. Mm -hmm. Like that's like it's a super broken move, and even I know about it. And I never played Marvel <laughs> three. Yeah. Um, uh, where it's like most infamous. Um, yeah, there's like it's it's cool to see like fighting so charismatic and so good at conveying character mm -hmm. that characters that were nobodies before they were put in a fighting game become iconic because yeah. of that. Experience. Like that's a really really fascinating thing to see, and it's like. And, and it's, it's, it's interesting to me because you call it charisma, right? Which is, I think is absolutely accurate. Like there's no, there, there's no better way to, to talk about Sentinel's mysterious appeal than to describe him as a charismatic character, but he doesn't say anything, right? He has quirkiness in his animations and personality in his animations that are kind of, it's definitely unusual for what we think of when you think of Sentinel. And we see that we're like, oh, that's a really cool thing. But some of it, I, I am convinced that some of it is the relationship that you form with the character by pressing buttons to make them do stuff, right? Because if I just watched Sentinel do that stuff in a movie, even if the movie was an hour and a an hour and a half long and it was about Sentinel, like let's say Sentinel got his own movie, <laughs> I would probably not give a fuck, right? But when I when it's me doing the moves, even if in an old ass video game, oh, I start to get to get attached. Right. If I start to think of myself as a Sentinel player, if Sentinel becomes one of the characters that represents me, right? Like fighting game characters are like yeah. stands, you know, when we're playing <laughs> against each other, we pick these characters as representations of our, our will. And uh, being able to say, you know what? My favorite character in the Marvel Cinematic Universe is Sentinel because that motherfucker can float and stomp on you with, with his fucking big ass boots, right? He's got the fucking Tims on. He's got the fucking <laughs> frying pan. Like, that is something that... Uh, no, you, you wouldn't see in a movie. You wouldn't see in a comic book. You wouldn't see in, a, in, in you know, in cartoons or anime or whatever. Um, but because... I can think of myself as a Sentinel player or Magneto player or whatever, right? I have this attachment to them that extends far beyond uh, the kind of the, 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 the more one way relationship, or at least the non reciprocal relationship mm. of, uh, of, of, you know, a comic book or, you know, a passive entertainment essentially. Right. Like the, 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 there's something precipitatory, like that you participate in it. Mm -hmm. Like, um, I know that you brought this up at some point, but it's like, you know, like you were talking about, like you printing this character and you're like, this is a representation of me. Like it becomes like this personality marker, like a yeah. Myers-Briggs or an astrology or something like that. I am a character. I, I'm somebody who plays this sort of character and you can tell things about me and my personality mm -hmm. because of that choice. Yeah. Um, and I'm obviously proud of that because I'm picking someone who I think is cool. Yeah. And who does stuff that I think is is interesting. Mm -hmm. um, even like regardless of like what that character's personality is supposed to be, it's like how you express yourself or how their play, play yeah. style allows you to express yourself. Exactly. And so this is this is where we circle a bit, th we tie things up neatly and circle right back to what we were talking about at the beginning of the stream when we were talking about Guilty Gear and you're talking about how you're giving Jacko a shot, right? 
as mm -hmm. you as you dig through these Guilty Gear characters, you are going to be. It's like you're trying on different skins, right? When I choose Kai, what does that say about me? What what energy am I projecting out? into the friends that I'm playing with or the strangers that I'm playing with when I'm playing this character. Mm. And it's not its not just the character and what he says and what he does and what his motivations are. It's also how does he occupy space in the game and how is, how is that space different or how, do, how does that space position him relative to other characters in the game? So then you tried Elfelt. Right. Well, you tried Elfelt before, right? You tried Eno before that. You, you, you tried Jacko. You're going to try Biken, right? Mm -hmm. I think that you will find the 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 right version of you in guilty gear when you try out the characters and you realize that whatever they're doing whether it's the buttons whether it's you know the the mm -hmm. the, the strategic role whether it's the kind of experience they're creating for the other person right when you find the one that feels like uh it might be it'll be different things for different people, right? Maybe it feels like it's the, a, a truer expression of you, or maybe you feel like it's an aspirational expression of you, right? In the same way that like, even before I ever played Chip Zanoff in Guilty Gear, I always wanted to be a ninja, mm -hmm. right? You will find something like that in Guilty Gear, perhaps in something else, but I think you'll probably find something like it in Guilty Gear. And uh, I think that is like... That is when you'll know you found it, right? Because you've been playing a bunch of different games. I know you have attachment to a bunch of different games and a bunch of different characters, right? But I don't think you found the thing yet. Um, the 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 the, mm. char the character that 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 feels like a a deeper expression of self. Um, but I think we'll find it. And I've and I, that that is that has been kind of the one of the things that's been running in the back of my head as we continue the series of streams. And for for anyone who's new to the stream, first of all, welcome. Second of all, come through every Thursday where because Avi and I get to dig through a whole bunch of old fighting games and just celebrate them and talk about what makes them so cool, right? Um, but I have running in my head. You know, we're getting closer to understanding the roots of Guilty Gear. Um, but it's not just about understanding the roots of Guilty Gear. It's also understanding the roots of like what why it's it's so effective at doing what it's doing mm. right um and then also in the background of that is like uh what i think they're leaving behind in moving in moving to strive right and in helping mm. to understand like the the cost that they're paying when they go from you know such elaborate character design and elaborate combat design to something slightly less so so i look forward to looking into that um and i definitely want to know how your continued exploration in guilty gear goes yeah yeah i'll give you some i'll give you some updates i i've been thinking that that one of these days like i'm i'm really enjoying going through old fighting games mm -hmm. i'd kind of like to play Exord with you a little bit yeah just um like probably not the same way we play this because mm -hmm. you will just demolish me but i do want to like i want to see a little bit more about guilty gear through through your eyes sure. i want i want you to i want you to teach me okay sensei it's been a while but i'd be happy bit. to all right yeah so next week, let's. I, th I feel like Marvel Two is a good place to continue to to at least like bookend this this uh, series of exploration we're doing. Next week, let's spend the, spend the whole stream on Marvel Two because there's a lot of stuff All in right. that game, and it just it's. Um, assuming we can get get it working real good, the Fightcade version not so much, but we might be able to do it on Null DC Bear, um, which I think we got working for CVS, so that should be fine. Um, Strider Zero Exer does have online training, but it kind of sucks. Um, that said, I think we'll have no problem. We'll, we'll have no problem getting a Rev Two Sash. So we'll do Marvel Two, and then we'll we'll we'll, we'll come through. Uh, would you Would you want to work your way up to to Exer? Would you want to go through some of the other Guilty yeah. Gears? Let's Let's take our time. Okay. Like, I've got some. I've I, I've got some some soul searching to do <laughs> in in Guilty Gear anyway. Uh, I just think it would be fun to come back to it at some point. Oh yeah, I'm I'm excited. We'll definitely do that. Um, but for now, let's go ahead and call this stream, shall we? I got like dinner to make and shit. Uh, next week we'll be back with more shit. So as you all know, we do uh, we mostly stream Guilty Gear here. We got Wednesday night fights, Guilty Gear Rev Two for the NorCal scene up here on Wednesday. Um, what else to plug real quick? Mild West for those of you who are new to Guilty Gear. Plus R or Rev 2, uh, go check out Mild. I'm actually gonna pull up the tweet for this real quick because I think it's it's that important that y'all check this shit out. Um, 
Basically, the homies at Wild West Guilty Gear are running a beginner's tournament. Plus R is open to all of North America. Rev 2 is open to all of California and the Southwest. I'm just going to pull up the tweet right here. Uh, Y'all check that shit out in chat. Um, it's it's this Sunday. So if you're if you're looking to get some uh some new some beginner ish, I think that their definitions of beginner are probably somewhat generous. But if you want to play with some newer players, go check that shit out. And we'll be b back next week with more fighting game action. Until then, y'all know what it is. You love your life. Be good to one another. Play some other fighting fucking fighting games, y'all. We out. Mwah. Good night, everyone. この番組はご覧のスポンサーの提供でお送りします。